Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all of the crazy things that I seem to step on. I've got a really cool show for you today. It is Tuesday, November 17th, and I want to talk to you about three different categories uh, that I think that are... Uh, moving along really well in voiceover for you to give a shot to. So like categories that you could jump in and expand your voiceover business with. All right. So we all know there's commercial voiceovers. You know, we know there's audiobook narration, which by the way, uh, no matter what we mention here, whatever I mentioned today, I do want to point out audiobooks uh, continue to be a source of uh, work that is available for everyone, especially people just starting out because uh, there's just so many books constantly being published. And with the ease of access to Amazon now for as an independent publisher and things like that, you know, sky's the limit. So, you know, don't ever be afraid to get into audiobooks. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about three separate categories for you to expand your voiceover business in, Okay. Um, now the point of the show is to give you three ideas so that you can boost your sales, get yourself into growing markets or segments of the voiceover industry, uh, and expand those revenue streams. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into this. So the first one that is really growing at an incredible pace is meditation. So meditation, affirmations, uh, guided meditation, which is kind of the, you know, it's the same pretty much as meditation, but maybe a little bit different with actually telling people to do things. All right. But, you know, meditation in general, this is a great category for you to get into and in, with your voiceover business. And, you know, when we're thinking about meditation and affirmations and things like this, remember, this is generally also done with music. So you want to make sure that you have music, you have some scripts, whether you write them, whether you buy them, you can buy scripts from people, you know, online on Fiverr, on Upwork, and you can buy them ever, anywhere. And, you know, you are going to add music and, you know, you have a soft, calming voice. You know, there's affirmations, you know, where, you know, you, you could buy scripts for those as well. But this is a great uh, category to really get yourself into, okay? Because it really pushes, uh, right now it's just doing fantastic. It really is. There's a lot of work, especially for women, there's a lot of great work for women in meditation. Uh, not that there's not for men. There's it's great work for both. Uh, but a lot of times, you know, women have a, a more of a soothing voice in that particular situation that I've noticed uh, that people are looking for. So, um, but either way, it's a great field right now and voiceover to get into. So that's the first one, meditation. The next one to get into, and I'm seeing a lot more of this, um, are. Uh, producer tags. So these producer tags, or, you know, you can call them DJ drops, intros, but the kind of hip way to call them now is producer tags. And that's where more and more musicians, um, you know, are creating from home as always, because most, you know, everybody's at home and more and more stuff's coming out. They're looking for these one to three second quick intros to their music, to their shows, to their uh, their tracks or their um, uh, their albums or whatever, and they basically tag it. All right, you tag it with your voice of the name of who, like their you know what their name is or their you know what the the name of the track is, something they want, some message. So it's like a, a one to three second opening, okay, or closing or whatever. I call them producer tags, but they they're also like drops. They're just quick. Uh, quick voiceovers, uh, usually done and, you know, interesting, whether it's uh, sensual voices or whether it's, you know, really upbeat and strong voices or announcer type voices, something like that. But they're just quick intros and outros, basically. But they're called producer tags. Check it out. That's really a growing segment, too, that I'm, I'm seeing a lot of also. Um, and then the third one, the third one that seems really to be, I think, um, just, you know, just just nailing it, uh, honestly, is, you know, podcast intros and outros. I think this is a this is a big one for me. I'm doing a lot of work with this more and more people starting podcasts. 
and doing the intros and outros, you know, it's a big, big, big business. And the cool thing about podcast intros and outros is that it's because so many people, anyone can get into it. You can, you, you, you need very minimal equipment. Do you know what I mean? You, there's so many platforms that allows you access to host on, you know, uh, your your podcast onto, and then broadcast it everywhere, and with Spotify and 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 um, what is it, uh, Pocket Cast and iTunes and so many different places now doing access to you know podcasts. All right, and because of the ability to go over multiple platforms with one hosting location. It's, it's downright amazing. So the intros and outros, and not just intros and outros to podcasts, but also you actually doing people's podcasts, like you doing the entire podcast, all right? You're doing the narration for their podcasts. I do many. I do many intros and outros. I do many narrations for podcasts, you know, where I'm, I've done like 30 or 40 or 50 episodes with my voice. And you know I do a VO's Journey podcast, right? Well, that's my podcast. But, you know, I also voice other people's podcasts for them, whether it's business podcasts, marketing podcasts. I do a lot of those. So that is such a big industry, and it continues to grow. And if you've noticed, the three things I mentioned, right, they're all really revolving around people being at home and having more time. Think about it. You know, podcasting, people staying at home, people having things to share. They got nothing. You know, they they, they don't have. Uh, they can't do a lot of other stuff. You know what I mean? Or they they're growing some. They're trying new things. They're trying to podcast, get themselves out there. All right, meditation. God knows we all need to meditate these days. <laughs> I said meditate, not medicate, although that might not be so bad either. No, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, we need to meditate these days, all right? And we know meditation is big. It's growing, all right? Also, producer tags, things, again, where people are being able to create music. They're at home. You know, the, w- taking into context what's going on in the world is, is very helpful in this aspect of us trying to figure out, listen, where is the place? Where's the niches that we can dive into? and make some money, okay? So listen, I hope this short video helped you out today. Just some three categories that I'm seeing are kind of on fire right now. Of course, there's many other ones, but these three seem to really be um, moving moving hot, all right? So, all right, if you get a chance, please like, subscribe this. Uh, I really appreciate it. Share it with a friend. Hit that notification bell. Also, so you know, uh, we uh, I've just put out a brand new course called voiceover marketing 101 uh, how to get clients it's been fantastic great reviews i'm so happy i poured my heart and soul into it if you're interested in that there'll be a link below here or you can check out my website at aviosjourney.com which that link will be below as well but either way thank you guys so much for watching you have a wonderful wonderful day i'll talk to you soon peace